and now there's a potential, you know, there's a possibility that your guys are going to lose arguably the best wide receiver in the league. You can't make this stuff up. You you literally cannot make this stuff up. The stuff that's going on in Pittsburgh, you cannot make it up. I, uh, I feel for you, Joe. I like really the, do. The people that write for like Days of Our Lives and General Hospital or stuff like that, they should just they should just come to Pittsburgh and just just follow yep. what the Steelers are doing. You get lots of soap opera head uh, storylines <laughs> from what those guys are doing. It's crazy. Oh yeah. It's, it's, and I honestly, Joe, to be honest with you, because I'm a you know I am a female, uh, you know obviously, I enjoy it because it's very soap opera ish. <laughs> So I'm, it is. I love it's, it. I love when it gets juicy like this. I love it. What is going on, everybody? I'll tell you what, there's too much going on. Welcome to another episode of the Donut Bag, part of the Pulse Podcast Network and the Pod Hub Network. In this episode, I preview the Saturday games of the divisional round of the playoffs. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is my favorite weekend. Uh, If you can't tell, I'm excited. Um, I talked to folks from each of the teams playing this weekend. For the Colts, I talked to Julie Voigt from Archer Football. For the Chiefs, I talked to Talon Graff from Sports Al Dente. For the Cowboys, I talked to Ashley Nicole Baker from Fox Sports 1340 AM. And for the Rams, I talked to Skylar Burkhart from Pylon to Pylon podcast. All right, let's get this going. The Thunder Bag starts right now. Okay, it's divisional round weekend in the NFL playoffs. The Chiefs meet the Colts in Kansas City. With me to talk about it is Julie Voigt. She is at Julie Noted underscore PFG, uh, writer for Archer Football and roster guy and co-host of Jules Colts Corner podcast. How are you, Julie? I am doing fabulous. <laughs> you should be. Your team is still in the playoffs. I'm still jealous. Oh, I know. And I still <laughs> feel bad for you. But, you know, just as I'm telling everyone else, if you need a, you know, someone to cheer on, we'll be more than happy to take you in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Adopt, <laughs> adopt our team. Adopt the Colts. Well, well, yes, that that's fine. I mean, all, all joking aside, I know your your Steeler fans drive me crazy at Lucas Oil with your towels, but um, I'll I'll keep that out of it, and we'll just let you come on over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 put the towels away for a little while. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> So last week they beat the Texans in Houston and looked really good. How were they able to handily beat the uh, Houston? Oh goodness. That was, I'm calling that the big show. That was just one great game. I mean, the Colts came out in full force and right away they put up points within the eight, the first eight minutes of the game. And, I don't think they turned back after that. And it was just the, the run game with Marlon Mack. My goodness, where did he come from? But again, you know, we put Ryan Kelly back in that mix. He was injured for Tennessee. We put him back last week. And sure enough, it seemed like that front, that front O-line was just doing their job. And they really, really did very well. Of course, you know, we can't say enough about the offense, but the defense really, really did shine in that game. Uh, it was just an incredible game all around, a complete game again. Oh, goodness. It, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. But but this week they're in Kansas City, mm-hmm. and Kansas City is supposed to be such a tough place to play, but they don't do well in the playoffs. So No, they don't. No. Um. <sighs> But, but, I mean, this is going to be, I don't know. Do you think this could be a shootout? I mean, you have Luck and and Patrick Mahomes. I mean, two great quarterbacks. This this could be a shootout. Well, you know, their defense for, for the Chiefs, they're kind of not as good as the Colts defense. But then again, you have to sit there and 
definitely the co um I'm sorry, the Chiefs, they had um goodness gracious, I think it was like fifty eight sacks. And I mean you have that going for you, but then you have a great offense from the Chiefs. So I as much as I don't want it to be a high scoring game, which I, I have a feeling that it is going to be a high scoring game, it's I think it's just going to be a battle to the end. Um, every minute's going to count. Every point is going to count. You have to, t- hopefully Frank Wright is in his right mind. No pun intended, but, um, <laughs> and he goes for whatever points that are there for the taking and not try to be brave because I just have a feeling we're going to need these points because it's just, it, it's just the battle. And Yes, like you said in the beginning, the Chiefs aren't good in the playoffs. I believe against the Colts, they're 4-0. and um, Or, I'm sorry, the Colts are 4-0. and And at, you know, in Kansas City, they're 2-0. and So you want to take that in consideration. But then again, it's Mahomes. He's quick. He's good. He's comfortable. And once he gets out of that pocket, you have to keep an eye on him because – you don't know what's going to happen, and it's just that, I mean, this game is, it leaves me with no words, because it can go either way, as much as I probably want the Colts to win, I don't want to be labeled like a, you know, a fan, but realistically, it's, it can go either way, but I'm not going to be surprised if it goes to either team either, because both of them are playing pretty good, the Colts got hot, all of a sudden, and they're doing great things at the right time. Yeah, and one thing benefiting the Colts is uh, Mahomes has been amazing, but, and he's not a rookie, it's it's his second year, but still, you you don't know how he's going to be in the playoffs. Exactly. Exactly. You know he could. You know he he could get rattled. So, mm-hmm. and I mean it, it has to weigh on on the Chiefs. That I mean, like I remember last year they played the Titans in the in the playoffs, and the Titans right. weren't very good, and 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 the Titans just went in there and beat them. And, and I'm, I'm I'm looking in 2013. There was a playoff game between the Colts and the Chiefs. It was 45 to 44, and Kansas City had a 28 point second half lead, and still the right. Colts won. Oh my goodness! Exactly, and that's another thing you have to look after is luck. He might not have, you know, so many playoff games under his belt, but you go back to that game and he handled that particular game so well, and. Like you said, Mahomes could probably have game day jitters or, you know, something is just not right. He is a young quarterback. But then again, (laughs) stats don't lie. You know, he threw for so many yards and and there's a reason why he got there. And then you go, it's just back and forth with me. Again, the Chiefs lost two out of their last three games and the two losses that they had were against the Chargers and the Seahawks, which were playoff games. So uh, hopefully yeah. nerves might get the best of him. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one thing, although that is helping them a lot, is it seems like when a team has the bye, you know, they have that extra week off. You know, the, the, the Colts were playing last week. The Chiefs weren't. They were off. Mm-hmm. So that could that could help them that they'll be rested and you know rest their injured players right yeah and they're averaging 35 points per game so if the Colts plan on winning this one I think they need to score early they need to score often they definitely need to score more than I would say more than 28 points in this game because if they're under 28 I don't think they're going to have a chance the way the Chiefs are with their high scoring games uh, you know, it it, it just it, it's just going to be an interesting matchup. That's all I can say. <laughs> it is, it is, mm-hmm. and it, it, this could be one of those games where you we've seen them so often this season that you're just going back and forth trading one score after the other, and mm-hmm. it's whoever has the ball last is going to win. Is and, and it could come down to that. 
it's it's uh it's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be a really good game. I mean, I what what would you say? Would you say the Colts have maybe a fifty fifty shot at winning? I would say so. Yeah. Um, it's just like I said, they're they're a Chiefs defense. And you just look around. They they were thirty first in yards. You know they were thirty two in first downs. You know they were ranked twenty seven against the rush, thirty one against the pass. Their defense is not that good. Our defense is, you know, we're we're up there, and it might end up being a back and forth game. <laughs> you yeah. know, and I as much as I don't want it that way, like I had said last week on your show, I love those low scoring games. And this one just, as much as I want a low-scoring game, I know it's probably not going to be. It might be pinball. It basically yes. might be. Just... <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, Julie. Thank you so much. Uh, and also, c- congratulations. You got over 4,000 followers. Yeah, I can't believe that. So <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but <laughs> now it's just, you know, when I first started writing over the summer and it was in August, I started off with just 1200 and, you know, I did wrote, write a lot many years before and I never even got up to those numbers and just, you know, getting one site and then doing another one. And just recently today I debuted on rosterguy.com, which is, you know, affiliated with the Colts and they wanted a little bit diversity in there, you know, and, and I was more than happy to help them with that. So, and the numbers just keep growing and it's, it's amazing. It is. And just doing what I love and the passion is there. So, you know, I want to just want to thank all of them. And that's what it's, and that's what it's all about. It's obvious. Mm -hmm. You're passionate about the Colts. You're, you're great at it. You're great on Twitter. You're great at writing. You're great at at podcasts. So that's, that explains it. That's why, that's, why right, right. that's why it keeps going. It's like, so. <laughs> and nothing negative ever comes out of my mouth. You know, if someone tries to, you know, put me down in some way, I just have that psychology type thing where I just reverse and be like, okay, I'm sorry you feel that way, you know, but thank you. You know, I'm not negative at all. So, you know, uh, thank you for everyone that's been sticking around with me and, and, you know, I'm growing I'm trying to do more teams other than the Colts. So definitely thank you to those Colts fans in the beginning that stuck with me that are like, oh, my gosh, she's writing about the Patriots. <laughs> <So> <laughs> just stick with me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the, I, I try to have that philosophy on Twitter, too, because there's just so much negativity and I just ignore it or block it or whatever. Yeah, you, you don't right. you just don't need it. It's yeah, you just uh, you just keep it positive And uh, and there is there's a lot of good things about Twitter, uh, you know, so. You just you just have to block out the the uh, the bad stuff. So, right. congratulations um, at Julie Noted underscore PFG. Um, like you said, our turf football roster guy in your podcast, Jules Colts Corner. Thank you so much, and uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll talk next week. <laughs> oh, I hope so. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Thanks for right. having me as always. Divisional round of the playoffs and the Colts visit the Chiefs this weekend. With me to talk about that is Talon Graff. He is co-host of the Coach in the Dawn podcast and writer for Sports Al Dente. How you doing? Hey, pretty good, man. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming on again. Uh, so... The Chiefs, they got the number one seed in the AFC and have had an amazing year. How how do you think they, ben, having that week off uh, benefits them? Um, I think it's pretty huge. Uh, Andy Reid is, is one of the greatest game planners around, so giving him that extra week to, to game plan for the Colts is, is pretty big. Um, even though they didn't really know who they were playing until you know that Saturday, but still... Um, Pretty big advantage to have an extra week of rest, get some guys healthy. Uh, Eric Berry, I know he practiced yesterday, but he sat out again today. So we'll see what his availability is like. Uh, Sammy Watkins appears to be healthy. He's practicing this week. Kendall Fuller, uh, I think he's going to be good to go. So I think we're getting guys healthy at the right time and, uh, you know, hopefully help out our struggling defense. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the uh, weakness on the team at defense. But uh, it's it's, uh, it's pretty big getting um, 
I know Eric Berry is a uh, huge, but I'm also getting back Sammy Watkins. That has to be a 